Hi guys, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Michael and this is my Cloth Fashion Tutorial. Please, if you're just joining this channel for the very first time, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And please give this video a thumbs up, okay? And please, as you subscribe, please click on that notification bell and um, a scroll is going to come out and uh, which indicates, which says part of the options you have that you have all. Please click on all so that when we post new videos, you'll be able to get notifications on, on uh, uh, what we have, okay? All right, you're welcome once more on this channel, okay? So we started a series, okay, some times back. We, we've been able to work on um, that manipulation, okay? The topic we're working on is that manipulation. We've been able to work on a single that manipulation with um, the back that, okay? The back bodies that, the shoulder that, how it's been manipulated. So we just started a series in our last um, tutorial, in our last video on the two that... Um, manipulation series okay so today we're going to continue in that same vein so um the side or strip that was actually taken to the mid arm o so today we are going to be continuing with uh that manipulation we're going to be taking this boss that to our shoulder tip right now okay here i have on my table i've been able to trace out this block into another paper so it's with this paper i would um do my manipulation Mind us also, I've been teaching two methods on that manipulation. I've been teaching the, the slash spread method and the pivotal transfer um, technique or method, okay? So first things first, I'm going to be starting with the slash spread um, technique. Then after which I'll go to the pivotal transfer technique. Okay, so we are taking this boss dart now. We are taking it to, remember this is two darts, okay? The boss dart and we have the waist dart. So we'll be taking this... Um, um, um bust that to the shoulder tip okay we'll be taking this to the shoulder tip we'll be taking this to the shoulder tip right now okay so we'll be taking this to the shoulder tip so i've been able to take a line from the shoulder tip to the apex or the bust point so this time around i'm going to be slashing from the shoulder tip I'll be slashing from the shoulder tip to the to the boss point. Take note also again, this is the slash spread technique. Okay. This is the slash spread technique. Okay. So with my tape here, I'm gonna be taping down. I'm going to close this boss that. As I close the boss dart, the dart on the shoulder tip opens up. So I'm closing this boss dart right now. Using a tape to hold that in place. Okay. Using a tape to hold that in place. Okay, then I'll just use the scissors to trim off the excesses I have by closing the dart so that I could have a smooth side seam. All right, then I'll just place the paper. I'll just place the paper below that and take that down too okay Now, for the sake of emphasis, for the sake of emphasis, I'm just going to be drawing this dark leg back. For the sake of emphasis, okay. So 
at this moment, I'll crease this and close up the dots. I'm going to be throwing the dots. Okay. So I'm creasing the dark leg. I'm going to be throwing these dots. Okay. Make sure this acts. If it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it right. Then with my tracing wheel, I'll just trace. Okay. And voila, this helps me. I'll just pencil this out. Okay. All right. And I'll cut. I just want to cut off the excesses. So I've been able to cut off the excesses. So this is what I do next. I'll just come down and go up by one inch this way from the way, from the apex at the waist that I'll come down by one inch. Then we draw my dart leg. Draw my dart like this way, then from my apex from the shoulder tip, that I will come up by one inch. Now, the purpose for this is this is to release fullness. Why sewing? You don't want to sew from your apex, you don't want to have that polka. The boss is supposed to be like a mound and not like a cone. And that's why you don't sew from the apex okay because if you sew from the apex it's going to distort the feet of the garment so right now we've been able to see the slash spread technique now let's see the pivotal transfer technique so for the pivotal transfer transfer technique of the um, shoulder tip that i just placed my pattern on a paper and with my push pin here with me i will just um you know Stab through the the apex or the boss points. This is just to hold my my pattern piece in place. All right, I've labeled my dart leg here as A and labeled this as B. Okay, so my C is going to be at the shoulder tip. So this is my shoulder tip. I'm going to label as C. Okay, and just place a mark here, indicating where I want to take my darts to. Okay, so what will I do? First things first, I'm going to be tracing this dart this way. I'll be tracing this, excuse me. I'll be tracing this dart. Sorry, I have something under it. That's why I, that's why it's kind of difficult. Okay, that part is hollow. So, I'm tracing, tracing. Okay, let me trace the the parts below. Okay, indicating where my dart um, legs are. Indicating where my dart legs are. Then I'll continue to trace. Now. 
I'm going to be stopping at this A right now. Okay. So from this A, I'll pivot A. I'll pivot this B to this A this way. Okay. Then I'll continue. To point C to this point C okay I have my point C here so removing my push pins on my push pin I remove this pattern then with my ruler I'll just connect the lines to the boss point this way Not forgetting my waist that not forgetting my waist that of course you know I'm not gonna be swaying from that point. I'm going to be coming down by an inch. I'm going up by an inch. I'll redraw my dart legs. Okay. I'm going to be sewing this. I'm going to cut this in a calico fabric and I'm going to sew and we're going to see the results. All right, guys, I've been able to sew this. I've been able to cut this in calico and I've been able to sew. You can see where our darts are, okay? At the shoulder tip, that's where we have our darts. Mind you, if you're, if you're going to be working on garments like this or probably you're going to be using darts like this, the darts you have on the shoulder tip are usually bulky, okay? So in order to reduce that bulk you have at the shoulder that or the shoulder tip that what you do is just trim to trim the excesses to about half an inch okay half an inch seam allowance trim the excesses okay i have to trim this you know to an half an inch and also excuse me half an inch and seam allowance okay because if i decided to just leave the darts that way it will be too big and it will be too bulky so all right guys we've come to the end of this um, tutorial you can see we have our waist darts and we we have our shoulder tip darts remember we're working on the the two darts um, series okay all right till so, like, i come your way again do have a nice time please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and please click on the notification bell do have a wonderful time bye bye